report chart and this is your marijuana money minute. Last week it was 4th of July, this week the industry celebrated Dab Day on July 7th. Oil spelled backwards looks like 710. See what they did there? Sales data shows that customers are happy to keep the party going. Unfortunately, the party did not keep going for CanTrust. They sent shockwaves to the industry after admitting that the company grew plants in rooms that hadn't received licenses. The licenses were pending, and the company did eventually get those rooms approved, but the plants that were grown there while it was not licensed were seized. Employees also lied to Health Canada officials, and the company has since hired a compliance officer, but the stock took a beating on this news. Rapper and husband of Beyonce, Jay-Z, signed a deal with California cannabis company Caliba. Green Growth Brands is buying Moxie Holdings in an all-stock deal valued at $310 million. Green Growth also announced that it is selling its CBD products in American Eagle stores. Gotham Green ponied up another $30 million for MedMen, bringing that company's total commitment to the retailer to $280 million. So far, $100 million of that has been funded. Cushco announced their quarterly revenues of $41 million, but they had a net loss of $10.6 million. The company said it would focus on its big customers and customer financing opportunities. They also said that they filed to list at the NASDAQ, the guys behind me, citing Green Lane and Akerna as to the reasons why they think they'll be successful. In other earnings news, Radiant Technologies reported an $18 million loss for its fiscal 2019 year. Here's the thing, they only reported revenue of a little over $200,000 for their fiscal year. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report from Times Square.